Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I like to shop for my family of 13 people once every two months now. I'm doing my major grocery hauls once every two months. So I do have to go back to the store, unfortunately, a couple times in between to get some fill-in stuff that's fresh fruit and vegetables that would not last two months. But for the most part, I plan out a menu for two months. In this case, I did about a month and a half and we're re repeating a number of the meals. And I made sure we ha we are shopping and for and have everything for all of those meals. It's such a great feeling to have it all in the house and it just makes my life much less stressful. So I recently released a course about home management that is seven weeks long. You get a new lesson every single day for seven weeks and a whole week we spend on food and making food less stressful in your life. So if you are interested in that and it's chaotic in your home, be sure to check that out in the description box below. Okay, I got stuff from three different places. I got Sam's Club. I like to get most of my stuff from Sam's Club because I really like the produce. It just lasts a lot longer than anywhere else I try. I got a little bit from Walmart that I couldn't get at Sam's Club. And then I get a lot of my bulk grains from Azure Standard and a lot of my dairy products too actually from there. So I'm gonna go through and show you each one. We'll start with the big mega Sam's Club haul. And I'm also gonna let you know what I spent. Our normal grocery budget is $1,500 a month. Keep in mind we have, a, we have freezers full of local beef that we buy from a local farmer, as well as pork. We get a whole pig and a whole cow. We get a whole cow every like nine months and a whole pig um, once or twice a year. And then we also get milk, raw milk and eggs from a local farm. So you won't see these, those things in my haul because we're getting them locally. And we're trying to get as much vegetables grown at uh, farmer's markets locally as possible. We recently moved to an acreage and we're actually growing some of our own food that we're eating here too. We used to not shop at farmer's markets. When we lived in town, we noticed that they're very, very expensive. We would go for a couple things, but we just couldn't buy many fruits and vegetables from the local farmer's market. However, we've moved to the country and we noticed that the small towns around us have farmer's markets as well and they are much more reasonably priced. So that's just a tip to you if you're looking to buy local. All right, here are all those beautiful groceries. Don't worry, we do have a junk food section, but we're not starting there because um, I want to appear like we're just the most healthy people ever. <laughs> just kidding. Here's a box of all beef hot dogs. These are actually really good hot dogs. They didn't have them much last year. I didn't see them, but this is so fun when you just like have last minute, um, the kids have friends over or whatever. I probably should have gotten two boxes, but these go straight to the freezer and we just use them as last minute summer, you know, hey, bring your friends over, let's grill some hot dogs kind of night. Um, we also just grill a lot of hamburgers from and steaks from our beef that we have in the freezer, the local meat, which is really good. We got a couple bags of potatoes. We're gonna do some potato bars. We actually, we have these four bags of red potatoes and two big bags of russet potatoes. So we're doing potatoes for lunch once a week, plus we use it some as side dishes. Sometimes we skip the potato lunch, so this should be enough, but if it's not, on one of my runs to get some fresh fruit, we could add in some potatoes later on. Um, we got two bags of salad. Unfortunately, Sam's Club has not had salad available besides these uh, bags of whatever, garden salad, iceberg lettuce for months and months. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been watching the news. Is there like a roaming lettuce recall or what? I don't know. I, I love salad and I miss like dark greens, purple greens, whatever, but I, I need to get growing it myself. That's for sure. Two bags of avocados. Those are, I'm sure will all go ripe in the same 12 hours, um, but we'll make some guacamole. In fact, I just found a guacamole uh, recipe. Solo loves to make guacamole, but he really likes the packets from the store, which we almost never have. So I found a recipe I'm going to try that gets all the spices for it, and we'll see how that goes. If it goes well, I'll share it. We got two big bags of carrots. We'll use these for different meals. And we also have some ducks, so if we don't use them all, we'll be, share them with our ducks. <laughs> we got some tomatoes. This is not enough. We will get some more of those later, but also hopefully get some locally. So really hoping to do that with the vegetables we got a big bag of red onions big bag of yellow onions we have some leftover from last month too when we had to fill in and i could not get lemons but we did get limes so when we have leftover of that near the end of the month 
when they are starting to get harder, we just uh, juice them and freeze them in ice cube trays and keep them in baggies in our freezer. So half of the month we have them fresh and I mean half of the two month period. So one month we have them fresh and then the next month uh, we'll have it juiced already if we need them. And one thing I will say about fresh vegetables too is we have on our new property, we have asparagus. So we've gotten to eat asparagus a number of times the last couple months and it is incredible. I did not know that asparagus tastes so good when it's right out of your garden. I've always liked asparagus, but sometimes when you get it from the store, why am I talking this fast? I don't know. Sometimes when you get it from the store, it's super hard and like um, stringy at the end. This was nothing like that. It is so, so good. We got a bunch of asparagus patches and um, the kids really loved having, uh, getting to go out and pick the asparagus and then we ate them. So uh, it's already gone and bolted. So I think we're done for the season, but definitely we're taking advantage of that every spring around here. We also have been catching fish from our pond and cleaning them off as we go. One of you guys suggested that we, we just clean them and gut them right away and then put them in a bag and freeze them. And so our freezer bag is getting filled up with fish and we're gonna use our own fish instead of buying fish from the store. So that's exciting too. I did stock up a lot on frozen fruit. We really love frozen fruit here. For my kids, it's like popsicles. They love frozen fruit. But we also do smoothies. So we've got two bags of mixed fruit, two bags of these triple berries, two bags of frozen strawberries. We picked up two bags of dragon fruit which is very, very interesting. First time they've had that. Last time I did a grocery haul two months ago, I got some frozen avocados, which we like, but they didn't have those this time. This time they also had mango chunks, and I'm not a huge mango fan, but I think every one of my kids loves mango, and my husband loves mango, so uh, we definitely picked up those, and I'm sure these will all be gone. There will be no leftovers of those in these two months. We got some bags of oranges. I thought I ordered bananas. This was a pickup order. Didn't get them, so I'm not sure what happened there. I'm sure I just somehow deleted it. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes when you do pickup orders. So we may have to grab some of those somehow, some way. We got four things of strawberries. They smell so good. This is strawberry season here. And excited about those. Two things of blackberries. We do also have berries on our property. We have mulberry trees all over the place. Is it good to eat mulberries all the time? I hope so. We hope to make things out of those. They're not quite ripe. We've tried them a few times and they're just a little sour and hard. So we're waiting for those to get right, but we're hoping to do something with that. We're also trying to grow a bunch of different berries and grapes, so we'll see how that goes. They may not be ready this year, but after that asparagus find, we realize we want a lot of stuff that comes back on its own every year. That's the goal. So we hope to get a few fruit trees in the ground soon. <laughs> We've been real busy. Okay, here's my bread area. Now I do keep all the ingredients to make bread. We grind our own wheat and we make this wonderful bread. Um, and I've just gotten back to it after moving and traveling. It's been a little chaotic around here. So we didn't have to buy regular bread. We're gonna use that for our regular bread. However, we are still buying tortillas. We got some big ones to make sheet pan quesadillas or tacos or just normal quesadillas. And then we got little ones because we use these a couple times a week for lunch. It looks like a lot of tortillas, but this will last us two months and maybe also do taco nights here and there. And then we got three bags of hot dog buns to go with that big box of hot dogs. I will put these straight in the freezer too because I find that bread freezes very well and don't notice any difference. We make our own hamburger buns with my bread recipe and I try to bake those up ahead and stick some of those in the freezer as well, but I haven't done hot dog buns very successfully yet, although a couple of you gave me tips, so I hope to try them again. One of my kids requested A1 sauce, like we're always running out of it. Can we get some stored up in our pantry? Which reminds me to tell you that we have a huge pantry. I can even link the video down below that shows like uh, the grocery store in our home. Oh yeah, I got two pineapples too, yum. Uh, we have a basically a grocery store in our basement and it has all of the food that we eat regularly, cans of things, uh, peanut butter, maple syrup, all that kind of stuff. And so we don't have to buy it all the time, but when we do buy it, we buy plenty to keep around. And we probably have six to nine months worth of food stored there. So that's why you don't see every little thing that we would eat because it's all stored up. We needed some onion powder. I have two of these of every spice we have or we use regularly and that keeps make sure that we just can stay out of the stores running for just little things like spices i noticed that we didn't have any pickles so this is a moving problem we are mostly moved out of our house but not completely it's about to go on the market but we haven't quite 
finished our storage room and a few other other areas anyway i thought we had no pickles so i got three th jars of pickles and then i went to our storage area yesterday and i realized i had a whole bunch there but <laughs> these last a long time so now we have a lot of pickles and here's our little junk food area well this is not we got some peanuts because i love thai food and i'm wanting to try a few thai recipes the combination of green onions and cilantro, peanuts, and lime juice, I just love it on anything. I feel like I could make anything have Thai flavors with those things. And I love them. I also really love peanut butter M&Ms. We make homemade ice cream for our kids too. They get a lot of treats. Um, but yeah, here's some Oreos because Belle is making something for a bake sale. She's making Oreo cheesecake. So she requested those, I requested these. And that reminds me that I have a whole other area I haven't showed you yet. She also needed a bunch of cream cheese for her cheesecake. So she asked me to get just the Sam's Club cheap ones for that. We buy some other cream cheese that I'll show you in a minute from Azure Standard. This top looks like this, but it fell off in the car. We got some Swiss cheese because one of the meals we're making, we may do it twice with different cheese is, um, Cubans, Cuban sandwiches. Oh, that's why I needed the pickles too. So many of our meals come out of our pantry. It's just food that we always stock. My husband's from Kenya. We eat a lot of Kenyan meals. We eat a lot of Mexican inspired meals. <laughs> Not authentic, I'm sure. But a lot of things with beans and rice and tomatoes and cans of tomatoes, stuff like that. So I keep trying to make sour cream with our raw milk and cream and I just am not being very successful right now. Plus between the move and traveling, uh, a lot of things have fallen to the wayside. So we just bought sour cream right now. Oh, uh, and from Azure Standard, I usually get a ton of raw cheese, but they did not have that big box available. I didn't know it until after the order went in. So we had a couple of big, huge blocks. It's like double this size, I think, almost. And uh, we had a couple of those left from the last two months. 15 pounds of cheese right here, plus what we have in the fridge. This is all our sliced cheese for sandwiches, and we put them on those tortillas with meat, roll them up, microwave them a little, roll them up. We also shred it for any meals that we need cheese on, so that's, that can make it go fast too. We got some Parmesan cheese to do like Alfredo, sauces, different things like that, and feta cheese for my salads. Love feta cheese. The kids actually like salads too. We do a Big Mac salad. Um, we do a broccoli salad that I wasn't able to get broccoli for, but we do a couple salads the kids really love for dinner as well. And I just don't have enough lettuce for that. I'm going to have to figure out. I'll have to go back for that, I guess. Or get it at a farmer's market. We have six things of ham. And I will put these straight in the freezer. Once we open it, they don't last forever, obviously. It's like a week that they last. Maybe a little more. So anyway, we leave it in the freezer till we're ready to open it. And then we go through it pretty fast. Two things of pepperoni for pizza nights. We'll do other toppings for pizza nights too. At the end of this video, I can give you a little brief tour of what my menu looks like for the next two months. My total at uh, Sam's Club was $6.95. But that does include three big boxes of tortilla chips that they were apparently out of because they're sending them to me. And um, you know those big boxes of tortilla chips that have two massive bags in it? I got three of those boxes plus three bags of bacon crumbles, which are really good if you haven't tried them. We put them in a lot of things. So $6.95, but it does include those. Okay, next up I'm gonna show you Walmart. Now, I've been making kombucha, but with the move and the traveling, I have not kept up. And so I've got some Diet Coke. I thought, oh, I'll just keep some around here. So I'm back to buying Diet Coke for a minute. But I do really like the kombucha and I've been able to buy, we had to buy some extra food for traveling and uh, different things while moving and that we normally don't. And I was able to get some kombuchas at Walmart that had different flavors. They really inspired me to work on making different flavors. So I'm excited getting back to that. Solo and some of my older kids drink coffee and we order it from friends of ours who sell Kenyan coffee here actually in Nebraska, but they ship to the whole US, maybe Canada. <laughs> anyway, it's very good coffee and we get to support friends at the same time. And it's Kenyan coffee, so that works out good. And that's what the rest of us drink. I have not bought a bunch of noodles in a long time because I'm eating through what we have stored. See our ducks out there? <laughs> They're so cute. I'm eating through what we've stored because I want to buy a noodle maker, like an automatic one. Uh, that's the goal, so. I'll, I'll wait a couple more months. I don't know where I'm going to put it in this small house. <laughs> I really want to do that to make our own noodles. However, I want to do some Thai food. So stir fried rice noodles. We got four boxes. Not sure how long that will last us. I got some Greek yogurt because my yogurt went bad in the move and the traveling. 
and I do need just this to start. I make my own yogurt normally and we do a lot of it, make our own granola and yogurt and yeah, I just needed a starter again. So I haven't had to buy it for a long, long time. Got three bunches of cilantro, two bunches of green onions. When we cut these down and eat them, we will put the bottom parts in a jar and it'll regrow and we'll get a lot of use out of these two bundles. We got some jalapenos for a couple Thai dishes I'm gonna make. Can you tell my theme this next few months? <laughs> Also, uh, if I get some from a farmer's market, we do love to cut them open, do a cream cheese mixture of chicken and bacon crumbles and cheese, like shredded cheese, cream cheese, bacon crumbles and chicken. Does that make sense? And then put them on the grill, grill them. They are like the best jalapeno poppers ever. So I might try to get some of those more from a farmer's market. And we got three cucumbers and some egg noodles for a dish I'm going to make that I cannot remember what it is right now. Oh. Maybe pasta salad? No, I can't remember. My total from Walmart was $56. Are you keeping track for me, Micah? $6.95 plus $56. Does that look like $56 worth of stuff? No. Let's not talk about grocery prices. It's not a very encouraging topic. Okay, here's my Azure standard order. It's been sitting here waiting for me to film this video. We got one big bag of organic white flour, unbleached, whatever, very good flour. Uh, I do keep some of it around even ignore the ballerina dress <laughs> I keep some of it around even though we grind our own wheat most of the time when my girls are baking sometimes it's just very convenient to, for them to have this and they don't have to change any recipes or anything like that uh oh I got two of them that's right I did get two of them then I got some brown rice this is just long grain brown rice we normally eat uh, two bags of that we normally eat basmati rice that's what my husband grew up on in Kenya and he loves it but I am making my own duck feed right now, and I don't want to give them that good rice. But I do want to give them good rice, you know what I mean? So I wanted to give them brown and organic. So they had a good deal for brown organic rice that was not the expensive, more expensive basmati version. So I got two bags of that. And then I also got some chicken wheat. I've been giving them some of my wheat berries, and chicken wheat is much cheaper. I think it's called animal feed here, so it's definitely... It's like their leftover wheat, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> so these three are going to be used for making my duck food. I am right now counting that in my grocery haul because the ducks are here to give us eggs. We're very excited about it. Hopefully by September, maybe August, we'll have duck eggs. I have some allergy myself and a couple of my kids to chicken eggs, just sensitivities. We can eat them. But if we eat them too much, we get sick to our stomachs. So duck eggs do not have that problem for us, but also they're really good for baking and different things. The ducks are here for the eggs. We also have chickens, 24 chickens. We are doing dual purpose birds. So the goal is, who knows if it'll really work out that way, is that we have eggs and meat from the same bird so that they're re reproducing themselves. Those eggs also won't come till about September, I believe. And we have guineas too, but those are just to eat the, the ticks. <laughs> So anyway, that is, uh, that's the situation right now. The chicks are still, they're small, so they're on chick crumbles, which I also bought from Azure Standard. So that also counts in my grocery haul. I spent $450 at Sam's Club. I mean, at Azure Standard. Here are my two bags of chick crumbles, non-GMO organic feed, two of those. So they're big bags. They should last us for a while. We have 24 chickens. I think they'll last till they're you know, ready to eat different food. Belle, my daughter here, and I, we did the math. We did the math on buying the chicken, good organic chicken feed for measure, or making our own out of oats, brown rice, and chicken wheat. And it was cheaper to do it ourselves, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, good job, math. Let's go. <laughs> we actually ferment the food, which even makes it go farther. So I, I have a whole system. I could show you if you wanted to know it. It's weird, but it works. And I have a system to ferment their food for three days and then we give them like some really good quality food. They get their protein and their, their vitamins from free ranging all day long. Okay, here's a little shot of that cheese I have left over. So I didn't buy that, but in the 450 included was also butter. For the first time finally that I've been wanting to try it, they have, they had my grass fed butter. We've tried it already. It's very, very good. I think it's cheaper than, what's the one that everybody uses? Kerrygold. And then we get a whole box of it here. So I bought the other butter too because every time I've gone to buy butter, 
they were out of this and they only sent me the other and I wanted to make sure I had plenty of butter. So this is the box that I bought in case the other one didn't work out and we have bought this the last couple times and this big box tends to be just about what we need for two months. So now we'll have extra and butter does freeze well too. So this actually is very, very good. This one's a little more orange over here because it's grass fed um, and it's also very good. I, I like them both and I'm happy that I have double now so I can have extra. And then we also get our cream cheese from there. I think we've already taken one out. There are eight of them. And we've been really liking these cream cheeses from there. Great ingredients. So we normally like to buy our block cheese there too. And sometimes Parmesan cheese, but we didn't do those this time like I talked about. So 450 is what we're adding to our total. I really love Azure Standard. I've loved it for a long time and I'm excited that I can use it for animal feed too. So awesome to just get things all at once, get things in bulk and get things that are really good quality. That's why I like them so much because everything is very good quality there. You're not worried about it at all. If you're wanting to check them out, I can um, put a code down below in the description box. They are very, very worth it, but it's a co-op. So not a co-op. I don't know what it is, but you, you go to a pickup place once a month. So it's not something you can just get continually or get sent to your door. You have to go somewhere to, maybe you can have it sent to your door actually, but uh, the cheaper option usually is to go to the pickup place. So uh, yeah, definitely check them out if you're interested. They have all kinds of things. I've gotten some fresh fruits and vegetables there that just are incredible, incredible. So you can buy them in bulk or you can buy small amounts. Now, one thing I was going to buy is toilet paper. I usually get three bags a month. I kind of debated because I don't have a lot of room right now. We are shoved in a small house and I obviously have a lot of toilet paper, but we do go through three every two months. Three of those huge bags. And then I forgot. I totally forgot to order it. So I guess that's a sign that I'm not ordering it. My total, Micah told me, hopefully this math is right, was $1,201. So that only saves me $300 for picking up some stuff mid-month, which we will need. I didn't buy chicken this month because I'm hoping to get some locally. We do have some in our freezer still, um, but I would like to get some local birds and yeah. It doesn't leave me with much for milk and eggs at our local farmer or fresh fruits and vegetables. So that's just what it is. I would notice that so many things are double the price or more of what they were just a couple years ago. So I may have to raise that budget again, I think soon. Here's a quick look at my menu plan for those of you who are interested or needing ideas. So I planned breakfast for seven days, granola and yogurt, eggs, oatmeal, Toast with applesauce, granola, which we usually have chai too. Granola and yogurt, eggs, toast with applesauce. And then I made sure I had that for two months worth. And then for lunches, Sundays we do something odd usually. Sandwiches, smoothies, roll-ups, noodles, uh, some noodle one. Sandwiches and potatoes. And then for Sundays we're doing some sort of casserole because I can make it ahead on Saturdays and bake it that day or even bake it ahead and just heat it up. Grilling on Mondays, because uh, it's our day off. Taco something on Tuesdays, so taco inspired. Noodles on Wednesday, crock pot Thursdays, pizza Fridays, and Kenyan Saturdays or salad Saturdays. So Kenyan food or salads. And then I planned out some of the casseroles that we'll probably repeat. We have uh, Thai beef and rice, which is not a casserole, but it's easy to make ahead and heat up. We have lasagna, we have quiche, and we have Mexican casserole. Grilling Mondays, we didn't plan. Taco Tuesdays, I'll just do whatever I feel like we'll do nachos, tacos, quesadillas, uh, rice bowls, something like that. W noodles on Wednesday would be Alfredo, chicken spaghetti, red sauce spaghetti, Thai noodles. We'll repeat that the following month. And then crock pot Thursdays, I have Moroccan chicken, um, instant pot taco soup, or crock pot cheeseburger soup. And I'll come up with some more things that I can make out of my pantry. Pizza Fridays, I didn't plan, although we're doing chalupa one night here. And then um, Kenyan Saturdays or salad Saturdays would be Cuban sandwiches, which are not Kenyan or salad. But I just threw that in there. Big Mac salads, Palau, which is a Kenyan dish, and Mommy, broccoli salad. Packing? Am I packing? Yeah. Nope. So uh, we have a bunch of Kenyan dishes I didn't list out, but we'll just mix those up. I just threw Kenyan Cuban sandwiches in because we wanted that and it didn't fit in any category, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how I plan. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We will talk to you again soon. Bye. Try out the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit? Frozen dragon fruit. I just tried one. I'm not going to give you my opinion.
Hmm. You both said the same thing. <laughs> Luca, come try a piece of dragon pretty fruit. Done. I'm good. <laughs> it's pretty good. You like it? Yeah. I think it tastes a little grassy. Yeah, just a bit. But... <laughs> it's probably really good for you. Antioxidants, if we can believe the bag. Vitamin C, fiber, and magnesium. Oh, they got some recipes there. It'll be good in a smoothie. No. It's a superfood. Oh, he went back for seconds. 